Welcome back my friends to another reaction video. I hope you're having a good day and if you're not, I hope it gets better. This video is from Police Insider. Let's see what it's all about. Let's go. On September 8th, 2023, officers with the Special Investigations Unit executed a search warrant at the Circle K gas station as oh. part of an ongoing investigation in which several non-fatal over had occurred in the area surrounding the store. The officers promptly detained the employees before conducting the search. Somebody had to run him to the office so he could get all his gear off and he'll be able to explain more of what happened. Okay, just the brief synopsis, please, because I'm like, um, out. I don't want to give you too much info right now. I know you work here, don't go in. I wouldn't okay. go in, not unless yeah, you want to go in yeah. handcuffs. Not yet. So, this is what happened patrol guys were here, regular patrol guys. There was a guy that locked himself in the bathroom with a warrant. While we were here, a bunch of people with masks came in and shut your store down. That's what we know. What the f Yes. My mom, my market manager is on the way too because okay. when y'all said it wasn't just that you had my CSRs and cuffs, you shut my store down and I'm like the extensive ongoing investigation had led detectives to suspect a store employee, Joanne, of distributing fentanyl from inside the store. The employees were then read the warrant before being searched. Wait, hold up. That is amazing how some people can be so stupid to try to hustle out their own job. I, I'm just saying, like, what is people come in and be like, hey, um, you know, uh, I'm looking for that one snack that'll make me feel good because I'm low today, you know? And they, 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 they would they probably be like, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, meet me out back real quick, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure they got cameras in the store. I don't think they'd be trying to, like, handle business right there. So she'd be like, hey, meet me out back a little bit. But, I got this trash I got to throw out. You know what? This should be like handling business outside or something. Like, what? That, oh, some people, man. They be trying to get up in life super quick. I guess they were like, hey, man, a lot of people come to buy things at the store. I might as well take advantage, you know? Uh, I wonder if the better Jew was knew about it or something, man. But I guess it's just Joanna. Like, what? Uh, I don't know. You guys think it's smart? You know what I'm saying? Like, she's trying to be low-key and be like, I got a job. They can't suspect me of nothing. 
I sniff snacks and drinks. That is all. <laughs> I wonder. Somebody must have told out of her something, man. But wow, that's amazing, man. Whew, this is the first time I see something like this in the video, man. We've seen other videos of Circle K, you know what I'm saying? But about this ex-employee going crazy at, at the store. I guess she had a little grudge against the employees there, you know. And she ended up getting arrested, too, for disorderly conduct after being trespassed. Like, wow, Circle K and Walmart. It's crazy, man. All right, let's get to this video, man. Oh, that would be something to be part of if you're innocent and employed there. Be like, what? Mama, you ain't believe what happened today. Oh, you remember Joanna? She came over here, you know, for the kid's birthday and stuff like that. Well, guess what? Guess what? You know what I'm saying? Uh, to the sheriff of Oakland County 4 and all its lawful deputies to include all law enforcement officers assigned to the Oakland County Sheriff's Office and our colleagues. I just needed a minute. I just, when you said that about the ODs and just putting everything together, that's like, that's just got my mind just really. Oh. Um, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, we had suspicion of Joanne and something, but I didn't know what. And she was, like, having issues with, like, standing there naughty when I first started before I took over as manager. Mm -hmm. She would be nodding like she was on something. Well, she had gave the manager at the time an excuse that she was, you know, on um, pain medication because she was going to the dentist. And that behavior stopped. She quit. So it was like, okay, you know, no need to worry. But then there was also that guy, some guy in a blue van that was coming around, which I haven't seen him in a long time, but I haven't been on second shift either. I just say now, do you have a camera running? Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Texas Swanson. I'm just going to pull it in the police What was your name? Kristen. Kristen. Well, it's nice Kristen right here. I got you. Nice to meet you. Yep. Uh, well, under the circumstances. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, when did you start here? I um, I don't know if I can remember right now on my book. I think it's like my ninth day. Okay. My ninth day, I have like oh, a couple okay. days off in between because it's my ninth day. Okay. okay. Um, have you worked with her before? Mm hmm Did you notice anything odd at all? Mm -hmm. Did she have people coming in just to see her? No, we have, no, we have a lot of homeless people that come in and they'll like ask for like free drinks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes she'll give it to them. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I don't care about that. Yeah. Okay. You didn't know she may have been selling stuff nope. that she shouldn't have been? Nope. Never seen her on a Nope. And I've known her for a very long time. This doesn't affect me because I'm the manager of this store, does it? No. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I don't know, but this is my damn store and there's people selling out of it, so. What the hell? Allegedly. 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 My <laughs> I'm glad you understand. Because <laughs> yeah. typically it's questioned why we're still standing here, but you know, yeah, allegedly no. my ass sounds about correct. Yeah. During the search, the officers found several baggies of fentanyl and wads of cash in Joanne's bag. When interrogated, she refused to answer any questions. There's more crap in the baggies. Hold on. I understand those rights as I've to you. Yes. All right, you guys, um, there was a little edit I did. I'm going to be honest. I, I edited a part. It, it, it just shows them, like, taking out the stuff that she had, you know, the candies and stuff like that. And um, I had to edit that because YouTube is not really friendly. I don't know why Police Insider didn't, like, edit that part out or blur it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. A lot of channels that do police stuff being getting demonetized. Maybe that's why they don't care anymore. And they get supported to, like, Patreon or something like that. But anyways, say that, man. Like, I guess the way she was handling that business was telling, giving people free drinks. I guess she like, here, here, have this free drink. And like, they'll, she'll give them with the hand covering the cup or something like that. And they'll be like, oh, thank you very much, lady. You're an angel. <laughs> oh, what could we do, do without you? You know what I mean? I mean, to them, I guess she is really an angel because they're getting what they want, right? But in the eyes of the lost, no, no, it's not good, man. Even if people are trying to do that for their own self, you know, personal I don't know stuff. It's not. It's not good, right? So this lady, um, wow. I don't know how she went there. I don't know how long she's been working there, but I don't know how long she went doing that, man. That is, it's amazing. It's crazy. It's some crazy to see, to be honest, man. And eventually, I mean, that thing they're doing is very dangerous. Okay, I've heard in read in the news that uh, mostly all the people that pass onto another Earth, you know, what I'm saying, is the cost of that with the, the F thing. You know, you know, what I'm saying. And uh, I'm sure if a lot of people are falling down around that place, I mean, it's kind of like, oh, that's 
target this right here because it seems like it's like a circle. You know what I'm saying? They're in the right in the middle. Let's go get them. If it was an employee bed, like I'm sure there's planes that load traumatized right now like oh i'm gonna get in trouble or i'm gonna get arrested too is it because i worked here or maybe i suspect something i didn't say nothing but i want my own business because i don't want to have troubles with this other person that's working with me you know it's a lot of people that's why like a lot of people don't say nothing because they might be afraid of the consequences not through the laws but through the people that be like oh i got my cousin on my left no man you ratted me out you ratted me out but get you you know what i'm saying what's your back it is it's you know a lot of people are like that maybe they knew they just like i said didn't want to say nothing Oh, but uh, yeah, I think people need to start when they get a job. People need to do background checks on people that work. They're like, hmm, I mean, is this person safe to be around with? You know, is it a good standing person? I don't want to be working one day and just, you know, I get shot up because this person has problems with other people. You know what I'm saying? I just say, I mean, get a little bit too much, man. But hey, you never know. You never know. Uh, I'm sure that manager going to be okay, though. She's worried about her job. And oh, actually, I ain't going to job, but uh, yeah, let's find out what happens. I'm just sorry. I just feel like. Is there any concerns I can use for you? Something I can explain to you what's going on? Huh? We're going to have Bane come through real quick just to double check Okay. All right. Do you know what I'm being charged with at the moment? Uh, I don't want to say right now because we're not completely finished and I don't want to tell you something else. Okay. So, if uh, you change your mind, once I explain everything to you what uh, what the charges will be and all that, I'm going to ask you again if you'd like to talk with me and uh, if you change your mind, you can, you can always say you want to talk to me. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Joanne was then arrested and transported to the detention center. Her daughter, who had come to pick her up, was informed of the situation by a concerned officer. All right, so I told y'all, I'll keep y'all in a little loop. Yes, sir. So we executed a, a search warrant. Mm -hmm. and For the Circle K itself? Kind of. Kind of like that, okay. Your mother-in-law was the target. My mother, okay. That's my mother. Yeah. Mother, That's, mother? Yeah. Mother-in-law. That's my mother. I got you. Yeah, your mother was a target. Okay, and was she getting, was the charges for her being now, or y'all still processing that? Or? Uh, from the looks of it, looks like it's gonna Can be... I, am I able to tell her I love her or anything? I won't touch her or anything like that? Uh, I no, I think they're letting her, her up and getting her out of here. We've had her detained long yeah. enough. I love you! There you go. I just wanted to let her know, okay. that's all. But yeah, so she's, from the looks of it, from what I saw in there, She's gonna be charged with uh, possession with intent to distribute uh, controlled substance by two counts, mm -hmm. and also what does two counts mean? Two different two, two different charges. Types. Okay. And within a thousand feet of a church, and probably trafficking event. Look, man, I feel for the girl, man. You know she knew what her mama was doing, man. But she, I mean, like she's gonna tell. It's rare with you know, it, it, it's it's crazy, guys, man. You got family members that are doing things they're not supposed to, even though you know it's not right. I mean, a lot of people are like don't want to tell them, you know, you on on them, you know what I mean? And that she knew, she knows what's up, man. She know her mama going away for a very, very long time, man. Distributing, then selling. Oh, man, she, yeah. And then that. Like the number one thing that's pretty much eliminated people out of this planet. She's she gone probably for the rest of her days, man. I'm just saying. And daughter knows that. Daughter knows that. You know, I mean, but uh it's kinda like when somebody's doing something they're supposed to like maybe under the influence of something they can't stop, you know, like something very heavy and you you know they're doing it and you're trying to help them, but you can't because they keep doing it. And and you know, most of them you don't even want to saying nothing to like authorities or somebody that can help them because then they'll turn against you but you don't love me and all this and that that's what one i hear you guys you know the mama knew the daughter knew but uh that came down to this and uh yeah she she she, she getting what she gonna get saying that oh she must have not really cared about her kids man i mean that's a parent uh, doing that knowing you got kids i mean i know she's old she's an adult right seems like she's, she's doing her own thing but still i mean your kids need you around man you know what i'm saying oh, sir. 
Yeah. You are right. not that much taller than me. Why was my seat so far back? Dude, I got in and I was like... I might got stuck. Wow. That's your problem. It's my car. She just needs a little space. It's a lot to take in. It was reported that the officers located 16 individual bags, eight containing fentanyl, and eight containing methamphetamines from the 48 year old's purse. All right. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to take this off of you. All right. You're going to get out of the back of my car. You're going to stand in that doorway while I check the back. Stand with your behind against that door, please. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I read your rights in Miranda at the store, and at that time you said you didn't want to talk to me while you were at the store. Um, I'll tell you that we do have ways to work around things. Um, I mean, to get in your side of the story can help. So, I mean, you want to talk to me about what happened? No, sir. No? Okay. You sure you don't have any other questions for me? No. I mean, I know y'all don't have to, but is there any way I could smoke a cigarette, please? No, not right now. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's interview over then. Joanne was arrested and charged with possession of fentanyl with intent to distribute within 1,000 feet of a church, possession of methamphetamine with intent to distribute within 1,000 feet of a church, and sale, manufacture, or delivery of fentanyl within 1,000 feet of a church. YouTube thinks you'll love the video on screen. Oh, that's... Oh, they put the charts in there, man? Just, guys, they ain't saying how long she getting, but she getting some years i'm i'm tell you that straight up man they just oh look man during this video i had to edit some things out i'm be honest I, i'm telling you so if you want to see like whatever i edit out go to the link it's down below you know to police insiders video uh but i'm trying to be careful because of youtube's cop i mean not copyright but uh you know terms of service or committee guidelines and stuff like that so yeah man let me know what you think about this man oh what you think about the mama man doing all this oh shoot it's sad you guys i feel sad for the for the daughter even though she knew she what she was doing but it's still sad to see that kind of mess even though you know it happens it had to happen and that lady knew that's what she wanted to say nothing she was prepared for this man she didn't want to talk she wants a lawyer which i mean i guess that's what you're supposed to do right ask for a lawyer even though you're doing dumb things to try to like get out of it or to get less time and hopefully you change anyways let me know what you think about this video Thank you for watching. Hit the like button because it really helps this video and channel. Because you hit the like button, YouTube will suggest this video and channel to other people who have never seen it before. And that's the best way to support the channel. I appreciate it a lot. You want to watch another video? You can watch this one right here or this playlist. And I will see you next time. Bye.